wait for it wait for it waiting for it wait for it now assalamu alaikum everyone yes i'm back with a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you a very unique way of making slime a lot of people have attempted making this slime but I finally got my hands on the product and I want to test it out to see if it actually works. So let's get started. Here it is, the secret ingredient. It is the foam ball clay. Now this is a neon colored one. This one has four pieces. There were two yellows and two greens. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a nice clean bowl and we're going to empty out the contents of the foam clay into this bowl. Now the foam clay is very very sticky and squishy and it has like these tiny foam balls inside. You have to make sure that you get all of it in the bowl. And the container in which the foam clay was in, I'm going to be using that as a measuring tool from now on. So now what you have to do is you have to add water. What kind of water? It has to be hot water. It cannot be boiling. If you see bubbles on top, you have to let it cool down just a little bit. Now you have to add this water. Mix it very well so that it goes into every crevice of that foam clay and we're going to mix it very well and then we're going to leave it for about like 10-15 minutes. As you can see this mixture has kind of expanded so this is what you're actually looking for. Alrighty, get yourself another clean bowl and to this bowl I'm going to be adding this glue. It's clear, great quality PVA glue. Get your hands on this stuff. If it says water glue, stay away from that. That's going to waste your money. Okay, so as you can see, I am using the same container to measure out the glue. Now, the measuring is the same thing. So same ratio of the foam clay, same ratio of glue. Guess what I'm using? Yes, it's the pineapple essence. Ananas. I'm going to be using the pineapple essence because I'm going to be making yellow slime and then I'm going to be making green slime. Just to be in that tropical theme. So do not add a lot of the food essences. It might interfere with slime making. Just a few drops will be great and it smells so pineapple-y. Is that even a word? Okay, so what are we going to do next? This is so much work for just making slime. We're going to take a strainer and the mixture that we made, we're going to strain it through that. Now strain away every part of the foam clay mixture that we made. You will see that all the gunk will be left behind and what you're left with is that sticky elixir of slime. I'm going to be using this baking soda by Arm & Hammer, pure baking soda. I really hope this works. So this is the part where we have to go very slow and easy. You have to be Joe. You have to be Joe. You have to be so gentle here. Uh, just add the baking soda pinch by pinch. Okay, do not be hasty and make the mistake I made because I ruined a batch and I will show you that batch. Should I keep saying batch? No, okay. Mix like there's no tomorrow, again add another pinch, and then mix. You have to keep doing this till you get the consistency, consistency, I can't even talk today, till you get the consistency of slime. As you can see right in front of your eyes, I added a last pinch of baking soda, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the consistency of the slime that is forming. I'm actually surprised because I was thinking this is not going to work, it's some gimmick, or they added something else that they're not showing. But it turned out okay. I mean, I don't like baking soda slime and I will show you why I don't like baking soda slime. Now, choose your preferred consistency for slime. If it's too firm, you can add a bit of more uh, warm water, a teaspoon at a time. Everyone has their perfect slime feel. Some like it gooier and drippier, while others prefer it to be more solid and stretchy. You do you. Let the fun commence. Once your slime is mixed and made, flatten out your slime spread it over and then you have to insert a straw on the side of the slime make sure all the edges are sealed tightly you what am i even saying tightly Ugh, i can't talk and then you blow into the straw so the fun of making bubbles in the slime is that just see how big of a bubble you can make using slime so here is the slime that we made it is super stretchy it is so soft and supple and i will show you later on why i don't prefer the baking soda slime but as you can see um the green one is the casualty of slime making i'm sorry i was so hasty with adding the baking soda that it turned into a hard mess it is not stretchy, it is not supple, it's barely surviving. Sorry, green slime. Just hang in there, buddy. 
I am finally revealing why I don't prefer the baking soda slime. It's because it just leaves this water behind. I don't know. It's like it's literally like sweating or something. That is a reason I do not prefer the baking soda slime. And you have to keep cleaning the surfaces because the water just oozes out of the slime. Baking soda slime has to be very precise. I feel like the ratios have to all work together in perfect harmony in order to get the perfect slime. But it is preferred more over the borax solution that we've been using and the liquid tide as well. Because there are many recipes for making slimes, but they all contain what? They either contain the borax or they contain the liquid detergent or they will contain the liquid starch. These are all chemicals that can cause eye irritation and sometimes people are really also allergic to it uh, in terms of skin irritation. And it can be very harmful if swallowed. I hope no one does that. But using baking soda in your slime recipe is a good alternative without losing any of that oozy gooey appeal. But you have to be very precise with the measurements. The ratios of the slime, the glue, everything has to work in perfect harmony in order to get that perfect slime. Wait for it, wait for it, waiting for it, wait for it. Now, slimes of all textures are fun to play with as it provides different sensory stimulation. Plus, don't you just love to experiment and see the different results? Yay, the guest of honor is here. It's pineapple itself. Let's talk about why slime is just so much fun for all ages. This squishable, squeezable, moldable DIY polymer is popular with people of all ages. And the appeal of kneading, twisting, and squeezing slime doesn't show signs of slowing. This soft scented colorful slime is stretchy, non-sticky and helps boost your imagination by encouraging manual play over screen time. I wish that was the reality. However, the slime hardened the next day and was pretty much useless. Oh well, on to the next slime experiment. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.